What if I told you there was a jellyfish that never dies? A jellyfish that is immortal. Well, there is. But before I get into the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to King Jervis for suggesting this video idea. If you also have a cool vid idea, let me know down in the comments and I'll give you a shout out if I do it. So, let's get into the video. The Turritopsis dawny, also known simply as the immortal jellyfish, has a talent that no other animal possesses the ability to set back its biological clock. And this is an incredible process which has been baffling scientists since they were first discovered in the 1880s. But how does this actually happen? Well, the first thing you need to know is the life cycle of the jellyfish. When jellies mate, if you can even begin to picture that, they create a mini floating blob called a planula. And this planula floats around for a while until it decides that it wants to settle down. And so, it attaches itself to a rock on the sea floor. The planula then undergoes an incredible transformation, turning into a cylindrical colony of pollen, which, to be honest, is more like a flower than a jellyfish if you ask me. Eventually, these polyps begin to bud, and will eventually create lots of little medusa, which is the technical term for a jellyfish. And at this stage, the jellies are only around one millimetre in size, so they're pretty tiny. Anyways, the adult jellyfish go around doing jellyfish things, like floating, and eating, and floating, and swimming, and even a little bit more floating. Yeah, they don't exactly do a lot. And this is when the incredible part happens. If the immortal jellyfish becomes threatened, or is sick in some shape or form, it will undergo a process called transdifferentiation, which incredibly allows the jelly to turn itself back into a polyp starting the process over and over again. Forever. So the polyp turns into a medusa, and then that medusa in turn becomes even more polyps. So imagine a chicken turning back into an egg. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on, and it's quite weird. And I think I should just talk to you about the sheer oddities of jellyfish for a while. They have no brain, no heart, and they eat and excrete from the same hole. And yet somehow, they are the most energy efficient animal on the planet. They're the oldest multicellular creature. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that these odd creatures are just that. Odd. So the Turipatops. The Turipatopsis do. The Turipatopsis dorni is a tiny jelly, around 4 millimeters in size. It can have up to 90 tentacles and is easily noted by its red bell. It's a creature that can never die. Assuming it doesn't get eaten, of course. Thank you so much for watching to the end. It really means a lot. And if you enjoyed, you know, consider clicking that like button. You know, it's nice to feel the support and stuff. As I said at the start, if you have any good ideas, let me know down in the comments. If it's good, I'll turn it into a video because I'm really bad at coming up with unique ideas. So, yeah, I don't really have a lot to say, so I'm just going to talk about random stuff for a few more seconds. So yeah, see you around. Subscribe if you like, or don't, I guess, if you don't want to. I mean, it's free, you can unsubscribe, but who am I to judge? See ya.